Hey, how you doing? Okay, it's the start of a new week. It's the start of a new vlog. I'm just leaving my house. I'm going in town to go for a run. It's been a super stressful day because the Cosmetology Association emailed us this morning, like a few minutes after nine or something like that, that we had to ask for proof of vaccine. Cool, let's do it, whatever. So I reach out to my clients via social media. I tell them all that, you know, Facebook post stories, whatever. So here it is, 3.17 in the afternoon. We're hearing, we're hearing. Is that a siren? That they can't do that. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, I'm stressed because I've had clients that I've already moved or like canceled their next one because they're in the process of getting double back. So like canceled their next one, keeping the next one after that, but have rebooked it with people that are contacting me that are on a waiting list that have wanted in. So now I have people booked in places and then if they retract their statement, then you're gonna have that regular client that's gonna want that appointment back, of course. Then what do you do? Do you tell the new client to frig off? Anyway, anyway. So I'm going to town, I'm gonna to go for a run. I have zero expectations for this run. It's windy, it's nice out. I'm going to do the trail that I always do, or that's my plan. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll go the opposite direction. Um, I may actually just do that, go the opposite direction. Uh, that's all I got. I do have to pick up my camera actually at the salon because this, not this vlog, but the one before it is actually still on the camera. It's Monday. I usually upload it this time of day. Didn't edit. I spent all day dealing with rebooking people and I'm frustrated. I'm not saying that I agree or that I disagree with the mandate, not getting into that. However, I, I'm not dying on this hill. Like I'm going to follow the rules and, but I need to know what the rules are. And it's embarrassing that we've put it out to our clients and then now there's that chance that they might be going back on that. So anywho, that's my day. However, it was a pretty good day. Like, um, we had, there was some family here. I got to visit with some people. Um, yeah, it, like it wasn't a, I don't want anybody to think I've had a bad day. It hasn't been a bad day. It's just, uh, I don't like wishy-washy. I like yes or no in any and all situations. So it's been frustrating to have a maybe, basically, is what's happening. Let's check the mail. The mailman, don't fall over. The mailman did stop. Ooh, big rock. Um, so we'll see what he's got, what he gave me. Probably bills. <laughs> The neighbor, we have a new neighbor and they have a dog and he's getting really good at like not yelling at me every time he sees me. Where'd he go? I don't know what his name is. He looks friendly enough, but anyway, he appears to be amongst the missing. All right, mail, better get the mail. see the dog at all um flyers we got flyers isn't that cool so let me see what we're wasting today for paper buildings you can buy a building uh castle building centers it's really bucking me where that dog is um canadian tire sometimes they have good specials Oh, everybody's selling those compact tread, like under desk treadmills. I think those are so fun. I think what I keep hearing and thinking it's a siren is actually a bird. 
Canadian Tire, hey? Great for pots and pans. I'd like to have one of these. Air fryer toaster oven. That one's on for $74. I would like to have one of those. See, here's the thing. I don't want it to set on my countertop. I don't like a bunch of stuff on my countertop. But I would love to have one of those air fryer toaster ovens. I follow Plantiful Kiki. If you don't follow her, she does a complete vegan situation, her and her family, um, both food and lifestyle complete. Mind you, I'm not um, vegan. I'm barely a vegetarian. I'm mostly vegetarian. Anyway, I uh, she cooks with hers all the time, and I'm always thinking, ah, oh, that looks so nice. It looks, it just looks to be more efficient, efficient, not the right word, fun, also not the right word. It looks to be, anyway, more than like one of those drawer air fryers. So this is a four slice. I might have to go look at those. I'm, I'm wasting time. Do you see this? Do you see this? Yeah. That's exactly what I'm doing wasting time because you know what I want to run ooh oh never mind not on enough of a sale I'd like to have one of those big steamers like the big clothing steamers you know the big one I have a little one from Amazon but I would like to have a big one I'd also like to have one of these vacuum <laughs> vacuum sticks I'd be far more likely to get that out than I would my big Dyson just because it's heavy there's somebody coming not here but I'm sitting at the end of my driveway looking at this flyer hi like I'm in my right mind <laughs> that's embarrassing where's that dog he must be inside Okay, this is boring for you guys and I'm wasting a hell of an amount of time. They also have taps on sale. We need three new sets of taps, like two in one bathroom, like all of our bathroom taps need to be replaced. So that's cool, yeah. Anyhow, all right, let's do it. We're going to town. We're doing it, we're doing it. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm being sneaky. She doesn't realize, don't knock it over. Let low. This might backfire on me. So, when I left you guys yesterday, the association had made a decision that we had to ask for vaccinations. And then they went back on their decision, which meant I had to contact all of the people or they had to contact me again to reschedule, re-reschedule the ones that I had already rescheduled. So, not sure if we got that far. <laughs> But the footage is on my phone, so I wasn't actually able to go back and look at it. So anyway, that's the update. So we no longer have to ask for vaccine passport. Anyway, it was a really, really hectic day. Um, there are some people really, really upset with the association, hoping that I think what they want is an apology. Not sure. Anyway, I wanted to take you guys on a bit of a haul before we lost all of our daylight. Kind of looking like I've been through the ringer. That five miles that I did today that was supposed to be nine miles was brutal. I don't know if it was brutal because I ran yesterday outside. I did three miles outside yesterday. Um, no, that's a lie. I did two miles outside yesterday. And it was brutal. Um, I had stopped like, I don't know how many times. Same with today, I stopped a lot. Um, but I got it done. And I just got out of the shower, so I'm still warm. But I wanted to bring you guys along for this. So, aptly covered in dog hair, as is my general life, I have a new pair of Lulu leggings. Now these ones are interesting. They're not the Wonder Unders. Shoot. But they are... Hold on. Okay. I'm surprised this was still in my closet. They were the Base Pace 
high rise tight 28 inch same price as wonder unders um don't know if i'll get another pair of these i have been getting like the size that i normally have been getting them in i go up and down in them but i had come back down in the sizes because i'm running in them and they're falling off like my wonder unders was falling off and they're old i've had them for ages so uh, the last pair of wonder unders i got i got in a size down they were perfect so i got these in a size down as well they are i mean you can skip this if this doesn't interest you but they've got quite a waistband on them they are pretty tight in the waist so they're not they don't have that wonder under just flat waist or no waistline i should say um these have a really compressive so they really at the waist mind you they don't fall down not even one little bit they do not move at all however if you're buying them just for lounging in as i think most of us do maybe maybe not not sure uh then you're probably not going to be happy with them because i think for lounging they'd be a little uncomfortable they kind of cut me in half when i'm like sitting still like them not going to return them going to keep them they're going to be great for running in they also have no cuff at the bottom they just stop they're just laser cut no cuff which i like because my legs swell when i run and the cuff tends to dig in they also if this interests you um they don't have the little lemon sign on the back they have it down at the bottom and it's not white it's like well it is white i don't know it's like gray on black i don't care but you guys might and the back has some detailing that kind of comes down like that which is nice it's flattering also draw cord continuous draw cord anyhow that's that i also got a sports bra that was like a high impact sports bra which is in the wash i meant not to throw it in um so that i could show you and then it's literally in there right now if you can hear a noise it's the washer i also got two pairs of the power stride crew sock in medium that's what it seemed like that i should have perform a heel 360 arch support ergo toes these are nothing spectacular. I would not buy them for the $22, $24 that they were. However, I bought them for nine and that was perfect. They were on clearance um, and they're fine for $9. They're not fine for $20. That's just my opinion. Also, I probably could have gotten the small, although I'm not sure that that would change my opinion of them. Like I think my opinion would still stay the same. I bought some features and really liked them. That's all on that subject because some of you guys really might not care. But I also have like a beauty order, a shopper's order. So shoppers is our local drugstore that has some high end and some just regular beauty. Um, the more high-end beauty in my town you kind of have to order they have a little bit in store but they don't have a ton of it either way I really like to order call it what it is um, so here is what I got let's start with the samples <laughs> let's start with the free stuff uh, John Vervedos eau de toilette spray right now I have more perfumes than I know what to do with that's wet. Is that leaking or was that Molly? I think that was Molly's little nose. I have Prodigio. I'm not even going to try to say. And I have a Lise Watche uh, mask. Ooh, a mask. Ooh, maybe I'll do this tonight. Infused with rose petals. Check that out. Can't wait. Okay, so for the stuff I bought. I may not have bought this. This might have been. This is a big sample. And it is La Roche Posay. Hylum Serum Anti Wrinkle Concentrate Repairing Replumping B5. Wrinkles, loss of volume, elasticity, tired and dull skin. You know, all the regular promises. It's a hyaluronic acid, a vitamin B5, and a. Yeah. I've studied the skin for 20 years and I don't know what that is. So pumped to try that. 
I'll be going away next weekend so this can be like my travel size because you know maybe we'll be traveling now uh, I'm not going too far I'm going to my friend Jamie's house and um, if you guys follow her you know she has a YouTube channel as well and we are gonna party hard in her basement at about three o'clock in the afternoon and that's it <laughs> um, the plan is to play Yahtzee so we'll see maybe I'll take you guys maybe you don't need to see that so the next thing I actually purchased was a Revolution Skincare London this was suggested by Jamie I went to her and I was like dude you know the brands I need a new hyaluronic acid what am I getting so this is a 2% hyaluronic serum for skin blah 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 the big thing about this is that it is vegan and cruelty free now cruelty free means a lot to Jamie and she over the years has rubbed off on me with it of course I do not want to see animals harmed especially in cosmetic testing however I had never really thought of it that much I'm ashamed to say I really hadn't and we both own beagles she has a purebred beagle and I have a beagle mix and beagles are so soft-hearted and kind-hearted they are generally the ones that are being used for this kind of testing I try to buy cruelty free when and if I can and shamefully enough when and if I think of it sometimes it doesn't even cross my mind it's just not something I've tuned myself into and I hate that but anyway I also have essence get big lashes this is like the $4 Essence Mascara, and I'm a firm believer that $4 mascaras are sometimes the best. So, I really like the brush on this. I've been using, wow, you can really hear my TV right now. I've been using CoverGirl. It's okay, the one I have, but I'm just bored of it. There's no offensive smell to this. Sometimes they smell like rug tar. <laughs> um, I did not, I don't think, show you what this looks like that's what that looks like so eucerin I live this keeps me going in the winter so the main idea for this order wow I've been talking for 10 minutes <laughs> the main idea for this order was the stay naked hydromaniac tinted glow hydrator from I just almost said ugly duckling urban decay <laughs> It just almost said ugly duckling. Did you hear me? Do you want the box? Do you want the box? Do you, do you want the box? <gasps> the box! No, you can't have that. You can have that. Well, I can't go with it. I'm filming. I'm talking to the people. Okay. Don't you eat that. You chew that in here. Okay. <laughs> this is what the product looks like. I got light medium, number 41. It looks like it's gonna be a little dark. That's okay, because I have a really light Smashbox foundation that I'm trying to use up right now. So it's 35 mil, so it's 1.1 fluid ounces. <laughs> it is a medium coverage up to 24 hour wear. That's what I wanted. So that's what I got. Um, this one was also suggested by Jamie. It might not be too dark. I'm excited to use it tomorrow. I'm not going to use it today. The day, I wanted to look at my watch, but I took it off to shower. The day is pretty well done. It's basically supper time. So I'm going to go do that. And I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, I'm on the trail. This is my second go round. So I'm running the flats and the downhills, walking the uphills. It's beautiful in here. It's really hard to tell on camera. Okay, so I just filmed like an entire segment of this vlog on a GoPro and or a GoPro 
same as a GoPro, and it didn't stay. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so I put it out there on Facebook that I'd like to have GoPro, and I ended up with four. So I have two from the neighbor, and um, she just said, try them, see if they work for you uh, before you commit to them. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I know it's no fault of the actual device. I'm sure I've done something wrong because I didn't look up anything before I just hit go on it. And it was flashing red and it looks like it was recording, but then I put the memory card into my camera to Bluetooth it over to see if anything was there and nothing was there. So I'm not sure what happened. Um, I'm also going to try just putting the card into the computer tonight, hopefully and uh, just something just made noise again just see if I don't know see if I know what I'm doing um so I've just pushed over a bunch of pictures off my big camera um to be edited to put up for Instagram I posted some TikToks some reels some shorts and yeah, that's where I'm at. So I went to the Dollarama, picked up a few things. Um, I needed tags for the store uh, because one of my vendor orders came in. And I got a few Halloween props um, to be able to use them for pictures between now and Halloween. I want to do more Halloween nails. Time got away from me today. I was going to do another set. And it just, it did a good away from me. I had to go pay my 50-50. I went to the dollar store. I wasn't gone that long, but anyhow, I'm running out of time. So I do need to eat. That's one thing for certain. But I am going to try to at least get a base layer of another set of nails done or use a base layer that I had already done. So a while ago, I had already put a bunch of base, just one color nails in my case. And the idea was to be able to do nail art on them at some time. They're quite bright. They're not really like Halloween ready. Um, but I thought I might be able to use, there is a red in there and I thought I might be able to use those red ones for something. Um, so I'm going to look at the ones I have saved for inspo and see what's there. Uh, that's about all I know, I guess. Where's that memory card? I'm having a time here. Okay. So I'm going to put all of that stuff away. I'm going to continue just filming on this today. You guys may have seen some trail running footage. I don't think I got a ton of footage because I was running, right? Um, and it's different than hiking. You can't just whip your phone out and start filming. But I did try to stop a couple of times and film. Um, I did my first trail run yesterday, like my first ever trail run. And <laughs> let me tell you. I have met my people. I am no longer concerned with the treadmill. Or even with flat out running outside, I want a trail run. That was the most fun I think I've ever had in my entire life. It was so good. Um, even though I twisted my ankle once and thought it was all over with. Um, but I rallied and it all was well and it didn't actually swell. It's a little painful today, but barely a little painful. Nothing to it. So I'm really excited about that because the trails or running are super close to my house so I did one trail twice I could have done it the third time didn't want to overdo it where that was kind of my first time trail running so just running the downhills and the flats kind of walking hiking the uphills or jogging the uphills uh, because you can really wear yourself out some of those uphills were huge uh, but I had been watching a girl trail run on YouTube and I just I just went for it it looked like so much fun looks like she was always having so much fun and kind of getting muddy and dirty and just having a time so I decided I was going to do the same thing and that was really cool so I'm just like, I literally have such a mess. There's like pillowcases coming out of the drawer because that's what I use for a white backdrop. I am going to set up for the other set of nails. I am also going to eat my lunch uh, and I will check up with you guys later. Hey guys, I think I'm going to close out this vlog. I've just some, done some more nail art. Um, it's all in my box over there. I was going to show you guys and then I totally blanked on that. Alexa, stop. Because, um... Well, because I did, <laughs> and because it's after work, and I haven't had supper yet, so I'm feeling a little, you know, looking a little, you know, too. Is there a good angle on this? No. All right, so I have to, I feel like a broken record, but I have to put footage over. Um, 
Oh, I have to use the camera. I'm on. Oh my god. But I'm going to end this vlog here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I hope you've had fun with it. I'll see you next time.